Hey guys, got another rogue removal video here for you. This one's called Quick Defragmenter. It's a fake uh, defragmenting come diagnostic tool that basically gives you a load of bogus information on the system saying that your uh, RAM's in danger, your hard drive's in danger, it's going to fail, and all this sort of stuff, okay? They try to frighten you into paying for the software to remove it and correct these issues. So first off, I want to thank Malwarebytes Forum for the sample, because without those guys, I can't make these videos for you. So thank to Malwarebytes, and uh, let's get started. So let's have a look at the actual program here. It looks pretty convincing. It does what other uh, rogue programs do. It actually stops you from using the, the system, okay? And uh, what's going to happen is it will disable a lot of stuff. So if I come down to Task Manager here, you'll find that it's been disabled. If I also come down to the run bar and type uh, CMD, like so, you get blocked. And also the same thing for Reg Edit and all these other types of tools that you may want to use to get rid of it. Now there is a simple solution for these, always, is reboot into Safe Mobile Networking. If you reboot into Safe Mobile Networking, then you're going to be able to remove these pretty straightforward and easy. Okay, so the instructions are up on the screen now. So if you reboot into there and remove it from there, then you should be pretty good to go. So I'm going to show you how to do it from the desktop anyway. So first off, let's see where the actual files are and where they're living. So they're going to go up to my computer. And then also we're going to go into the C root directory and look at Windows. And as you can see, System32 has been hidden. So this is what this particular type of rogue will do. It hides uh, System32. Now you may think to yourself, I'll come up to the top here and type system32 like so and it will put me in there well it doesn't it won't let you do that okay so it doesn't want to give you access to system32 it's hidden that part it also hides the taskbar and the background there it will just so you can't use the desktop it will go black and uh, you won't be able to do that and it will do that in safe mode too okay so where are the files located well let's go into documents and settings for windows xp uh, for Vista, it will be uh, something different. I will put the instructions up on the screen for you. I'm going to go into the account here, Brightech, or the account that's infected. Now, from here, what we need to do is we need to go up to Tools and then Folder Options because we can't see these folders yet. They're hidden. And I'm going to go to View and then do the same thing what I normally do is show hidden files and folders. And then what we're going to do here is also unhide uh, known file extensions so we can actually do something with that. Now once I've done that you can see a lot of greyed out folders and inside here this is where these rogues normally hide. So for this one it's in local settings and it will be in the temp folder there. So as you can see this is where the actual rogue is living. Okay so first off let me just see if we can run UVK. Now UVK is not running. Nothing runs like that, okay. Let me try the uh, Process Explorer. Now Process Explorer won't run and I've always I've named that to win logon. Let's try I explore and see if that will work. If I type I explore dot exe and see if that will run. Now that's running. Okay, so we never got that running. So really, theoretically, I could actually kill this off from the desktop. And there you can see a file there that's running. And once you kill this file off and that file there, kill those off or suspend them, you could then run some stuff from the desktop. So I will do that in a moment. First off, I want to show you another easy way to get rid of it. Let's look at the actual diagnosis part. You'll get these pop-up boxes popping up all the time, as you can see. So I'm just going to close these off because there's tons of them popping up. They're just trying to make you pay for the software. It's going to shut down now. This is what it does.
Okay, so that's saying it's re system restores done something. Now it wants to analyze the system for stability. This is another thing that it does. It does a lot of different scans. You'll get a load of this popping up and doing different types of scans. Okay, and you'll get this, your computer may be at risk and all this sort of stuff. Okay, so we'll continue with limitations and let the defragmenter run because this is what it does it will go from one section to the other and run these functions okay okay so this scans nearly finished now as you can see this is all bogus so don't fall for this sort of stuff okay there's nothing wrong with a driver or anything like that and then what it's going to do now is asking you to activate okay and this is the part where you can say yes now this is where you need to put in any email address here and the code that you want to be using to uh, to register this product is the code that you can see on the screen now now once you've done that what that's going to do is allow you to register the product and allow you to run scans if you wish to do it that way that's probably the easiest way to go about it okay um, so what we're going to do now is close this off now what I was going to do is show you how to also unhide files in case you need to um, because some of the files are hidden and it may work differently you may see no taskbar as I said so I'll show you how to do that now now you can't always connect onto the internet it won't allow you to do that but you could do this all in safe mode with, net, uh, safe mode with networking but just in case you wanted to do it from the desktop I'll show you how to get around it what you need to do is come up to the top here and then where it says my computer up the top you can put in a, neat, uh, a link there to a, an actual product if you're blocked out from using the internet and this is going to download unhide from bleeping computer I'm going to say yes to this save there and that's going to go to the desktop like so I've got one more for you for process explorer you may want to go to live.sysinternals.com and then push enter there and this will allow you to download the product straight onto the to the desktop okay and that's without going to the sites so that's a good way of getting around if you can't get on the internet it will allow you to download files okay now that's downloaded now we know we can do iExplore.exe from the desktop that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna run that kill this off and then end the video by killing it off and running some tools so let me just uh, finish this off here okay so now we've got all this done what I'm going to do here is open up my process explorer and I've renamed that to iExplore.exe and here we have it here now we've got this open I'm just going to come down to these files these two files here as you can see they're in the temp folder which is where we was looking at and I'm just going to suspend these okay now you can kill and pro you kill the process. Let me just try um, UVK Portable as well. I'm going to rename that I Explore to see if I can get that running. Okay, so we can't have two of those. So let me just rename this one. So I'm just going to quickly re rename this. Okay, run that. And yep, we can get also this running as well. UVK. So whatever floats your boat, really, there's always a ways around it and you can run these from here and remove the process and good thing about um, UVK is you can kill it as well and delete the file so this is why I like this tool so much so what we're going to do here is come to this location you can see these two files if I pull this down just pull that out of the way if I just pull this down here okay so I'm going to kill this and delete and do this next one as well and there you go so now we have that all clean now if you're still having problems running programs 
and stuff like that even though you've killed it from the desktop we need to do is you can always use iExplore as well which is another great tool or rkill or something of that nature and these types of tools are what are going to help you remove this type of rogue okay and there you go it come up and let this run it takes a bit of time to start but once it starts this will kill any processes that are running And then once this is done, you should see the process has now been removed. It's now stopped, which will then allow us to to run other programs. We should have internet access and stuff like that, like so, because that process is now stopped running. Okay, so let's recap on what you're going to need. You're going to need these types of tools for this type of job. Okay, I Explore, Process Explorer, UVK, Malwarebytes and unhide okay now these are all free tools to use and they're very powerful tools now as I said if you want to reboot the system into safe mode with networking you won't need a lot of these tools because you can just run malware bytes but if you do insist on doing it from the desktop you may want to use iExplore or rkill to kill the process or road killer or something like that or process explorer the way I showed you renaming it and and suspending that process and you may need to still use iExplore afterwards okay to finish off that and then you can run some uh, scans now the unhide part is in case you do still need it now I didn't need it because after I cleaned the system I didn't need to use this okay but you may need to use it if your files are still hidden and as you can see pretty much my system is back to normal I've got a uh, show uh, system 32 here and that was all hidden before and I've not even run and finished off malware bytes yet so what I'm going to do is quickly run that and the jobs are good so I'm going to quickly update here put it on full scan I would advise you to do that but I'm just going to use a quick scan for this video but in general full scans good and use other types of software too like TDSS killer that's another good tool to make sure there's no root kits being dropped on the system and I should have put that in that list there again just let that finish off and you should be pretty much up and running okay so I'm gonna click OK here that's the scan finished show results and there we have a few files on the system that we can remove so I'm just gonna quickly remove these and we should be back up and running restart the computer and that's it okay so I think that'll be it for this video my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk I hope you enjoy these videos if you do enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button and show your support and also rate and favorite all my videos now if these videos do help you in any way shape or form and you wish to um, pay back then the way you can pay back is by hitting the subscribe button okay in as shown as appreciation to their video helping you okay now please remember have a lovely Christmas and a happy new year to everyone and all my supporters so thanks very much for watching I really do hope you enjoy the Christmas period don't drink too much and don't eat too much because I'll be doing all that for you <laughs> see you later guys take it easy bye for now